Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like a thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. It's been a little while since I did an Instagram versus reality. For those of you who don't know what this series is, it merges my life as an influencer and merges it with my degree in editorial and advertising photography and my previous work in the advertising and photography world. And today, as promised, we're going to be talking about lighting and how lighting does affect how your skin can look, how your makeup can look. The Snow app has an interesting update that I want to share with you guys. And we're also going to be looking at some interesting videos and pictures that you have tagged me in that have been poorly, poorly face tuned. But before we get into it, I want to make it very, very clear that I am not against filters at certain times. I'm not against anyone retouching their pictures. I'm certainly not against people having cosmetic surgeries, Botox fillers, nothing like that. All I want to do here is let you know exactly how retouching images work. It's important to note that filters, retouching, lighting tricks is nothing new. But now, instead of seeing this predominantly on TV and in magazines, we are seeing this on social media. It's just advertising has hopped from the TV over to our phones. So let's start with lighting and how lighting really does affect the way a subject looks. So I wanna talk about, first of all, this Dove advert, which I used to be obsessed with. In their evolution short film, what they do is show the process of a photo shoot from start to finish. And whilst it is a little bit extreme, it's a good, it's a good representation of how lighting, makeup, and Photoshop can completely, completely change the way someone looks. In actual real life, the model would never be altered that much. But even the smallest of touch-ups can make such a huge difference. You can see that even with just hair, makeup, and lighting alone, it completely transformed the way the model looked. So whilst that's not hugely accurate, Dove really did start this kind of like real beauty campaign. And it did make people question what they were seeing on billboards and in magazines. I think back then, social media wasn't this huge thing and we didn't have filters on our phone and all that kind of stuff. So seeing this happen in front of you and the way the Photoshop, well, fake Photoshop program changed the structure of her face and even her neck, all that kind of stuff, really did make people think, you know, is what I'm seeing the truth? So lighting is very, very important in photo shoots. When I did assist on shoots, I would be there at like 5 a.m. just set, helping set up the lighting and the model would get that like nine. Do you know what I mean? Like we spend so much time getting the lighting right, standing in for the model because it can make or break your shoot, but it's not just important on professional shoot. It's a game changer when I'm just sat here in my bedroom as well. I'm using um, natural lighting at the moment. Let me just show you, I got these studio lights I never use. You can see like the way the lights are on now. It's made my skin look a lot um, clearer, a lot lighter compared to when they're off. So you can use lighting to completely kind of like wash out your skin and really hide those little imperfections. So you may or may not know that I have a twin brother, Robert Welsh. He is a professional makeup artist and he does these videos where he um, shows you how to do makeup in natural lighting because that's an everyday situation. And what he does is he breaks down how the, he doesn't really know why, but he breaks down how the lighting in the video changes the texture of his skin, the tone of his skin, and the way his makeup looks on camera. So Robert's given me permission to use his video. He'll probably still copyright strike me. There is a very particular light that is used by all beauty influencers. And we're gonna talk about that and why it's used and why it is so flattering. Um, but let's take a look. Here's the deal with lighting and makeup. I can control exactly how my lights are lighting my face. So I'm gonna show you all my lights in a minute and I'll do what I did in my first video and I'll turn them off one by one so you can see exactly how they change makeup and things like that. But yeah, I can control exactly. I know light's gonna hit me everywhere when I'm sitting in this chair. However, when I go outside or say it's full glam and you're going to a restaurant, light's gonna be catching you from loads of different places. Your skin can look really cakey in some lights. It can look really great in some lights. So that's the purpose of this video. For some reason, my camera, I know it's like the white balance or something, but I can't get it right. So my videos come out super, super yellow. Everything looks yellow. So I add a blue tone to the video. I also lighten the video and I also um, desaturate it a tiny little bit. Um, what else do I do? That's it. So there's no filters. It's just playing with light. There's no skin smoothing filters, anything like that. Um, Cause lighting can do that for you. I'm gonna pause it there really quick. Yeah. Light, um, 
Color correcting is like a big thing on YouTube because people don't really know how to set their white balance properly. You usually you have a color correcting card. I don't, I don't even do it on my videos, but you have um, a white balance card, sorry, which is like a gray, a white and a black. And this helps you set the white balance and exposure settings of your camera settings, basically. So you get a more accurate looking image when it comes to exposure and color, basically. Let me remove all of those After Effects now. So this is a video without any of those effects. I recently bought two lights either side of me here because in my videos, my skin looked really, really smooth and that's not really the case. I wanted my skin to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just gonna turn those off. So I just turned off the side lights. If you're used to my old um, lighting setup, then this is it. It makes my skin look really like flawless and smooth somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off a light, oh, actually let me turn off the two color lights. So then it's just a blank wall behind me, but just adds a little bit of depth. And then this light behind me um, on the floor basically makes sure that the ring light in front of me isn't casting a shadow on the back wall. So that's that light off. You see what I mean? So ring light, let me just show you full light and how much light can blur out skin. So I'm thinking my skin looks pretty smooth there. Let me dim it and then come closer to the camera. You can see my skin texture a little bit more. So I have kind of textured skin on my cheeks here. Okay, we're just gonna pause it there because Ring lights is what I wanted to talk about as far as like the very particular light that a lot of beauty influencers use, a lot of makeup artists use. So ring lights are so popular, first of all, because they're pretty affordable, to be honest. You can go on Amazon and get one for like 50 quid, like a whole setup, which is a really, really good price, but ring lights are extremely, extremely flattering. As Robert said in that video, for some reason, his skin almost looks blurred because of that ring light. And that's why he added in more lights and I'll tell you why those lights kind of add a more realistic look in a minute. But having this ring light literally evenly distributes the light around your face. And this eliminates any type of harsh shadows. So harsh shadows that show up under your eyes, you know, around your smile lines, harsh shadows that exaggerate like sunken skin, but also exaggerate texture on your skin. So if you've got like lighting coming from like this direction here, it can create a shadow even on the tiniest of bumps on your face and add to the texture of your skin. What the ring light does, obviously, as I said, is gives that light from everywhere, so it's creating no shadow on your face. So it does make your skin look pretty flawless and your makeup look pretty flawless as well. I don't know if you can see as well, but what ring lights also do is, because they're just kind of focused here, they create this really soft shadow under the chin that kind of chisels up your jaw a bit as well. But yeah, so Robert mentioned that he's got those two lights either side and he said that that kind of adds a bit more texture into his skin. It's because you're creating shadow basically. Even the tiniest, most subtle bits of shadow can um, highlight texture on your skin. In natural light, you can see all my skin. <laughs> I'm and there we go, natural lighting, which is what I use now because I do feel like it is the most accurate representation of your skin because it's the lighting that people see you in on a, a daily basis, you know, you're not walking around with like a orange light around you, like a ring light glow. It's not cheating in any way, it's not lying in any way, it's just like a light that's actually the most sensible option to use if you are doing makeup, if you are um, doing close-up shots of your face is the most flattering. So even without any type of retouching as far as digital manipulation, removing of spots and texture, you can see how much lighting can make a difference. But yeah, that's really the basics of um, YouTube lighting and influencer lighting. The ring light is the go-to for everyone because even without retouching of filters, it creates such a nice, soft, very, very flattering light. Before we take a look at some really dodgy editing, <laughs> I just want to update you on Snow's latest filter. So here is the Snow app with no filter on my skin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to beauty. I'm going to go to the skin tool and just show you like obviously how obvious that blur is. Look at that, that's insane. So what you can do is put no blur on your skin whatsoever, but they have this pore feature now. So you can up the pores and it blurs your skin but keeps all the pores on your face. So what you can then do is add blur to your face but up the pores so it looks more realistic. And you have this kind of like less obvious blur to your face because look at all those fake pores. So people can be taking close up shots and their skin looks flawless, but not poreless. And that's usually the dead giveaway for when a, a blur filter has been used. So it still looks a little suspicious, I must say. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, let's move on to some pictures and videos that you guys have tagged me in or brought to my attention. And some of these are a little bit um, 
questionable. We have to start with this one. I do have to say, I'm not 100% sure whether this is a joke or not, but I don't think it is, and I'll tell you why. So here we have Nick Bean. This is a weight loss picture. Um, it says, I really, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank everyone for sticking with me through this journey. It was so hard, but I'm finally happy with myself. Love you and just know you got this. Hashtag Transformation Tuesday. First of all, literally zero effort as we made here to hide the fact that those doors are bending inwards, like absolute craziness. Like, and the shower door there as well doesn't even make sense. The cupboards are bending, like no effort has been made to make it not obvious that that side picture has been photoshopped. But the same within the um, before picture, you can see he's pulled his stomach out. Those abs are very, very poorly edited onto his body as well. Um, the fact that the shadows don't even make sense. But there's also giveaways that this is in fact the same day and not a transformative journey. The headband, first of all, his hair is in the exact same place. Also those little flyaway hairs that he's got. But also, what's that mess in the sink? He's left that there for a while then, I'm guessing, if this is like a transformation thing. And he disabled the comments on that picture. He does have a real transformation picture on his profile where you can see a truer representation of his body and it's actually like a good journey like he's done well he's obviously changed some habits so there's no reason that he ever had to photoshop that it just strikes me as a bit weird that he has disabled comments on those pictures i'm not really sure who he is i don't know if it was meant to be funny or if it's a comedy kind of thing but i don't think it is considering he does have a real transformation story and journey kim kardashian recently posted a video it was called my work from home beauty routine using kkw beauty it was filmed on her phone using a ring light and of course a live filter app if you are going to do this right if you're gonna do a tutorial or take a picture or something stand against a blank wall if you're gonna use these filters don't stand anywhere where there's horizontal or vertical lines that are gonna bend and up and down and around. The shower door, as you can see behind it, is bending and wiggly. And whilst it's not obvious most of the way throughout, there's this moment here towards the end of the video where it literally looks like the shower door is moving towards her. At this point here, you see her whole face glitch. This is a difficult one because KKW Beauty is her own brand. It's pretty obvious that she's gonna be using a skin smoothing filter too, right? So I think it's a little bit different when it's your own brand. I don't think you could do things like this because when you're talking about your own brand, I think you're doing an advert, right? technically. But they are, I have to say, they are just tiny adjustments. As you can see throughout the rest of the video, it's not a crazy glitch, but um, it is those tiny, tiny little adjustments that make such a big difference. So yeah, there we have it. That was like a little bit everywhere. <laughs> like all my videos, but um, yeah, if you have any ideas of what you want to see in more Instagram versus reality videos, let me know. But that's it from me now, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>